Dr. Tyson Bell, director of the Medical Intensive Care Unit at the University of Virginia with us now. He's also an associate professor of infectious diseases and pulmonary and critical care medicine. Uh, doctor, we appreciate your time. Thank you for being with us. Let's, let me first ask you, since we ended on that, about the Mu variant. How potent um, is it believed to be, and how do you see the balance of treatment and, and all these variants that are most likely uh, on deck and beyond? Uh, well, first, thank you for having me on the show to discuss this. This is a very important topic because whenever a new variant comes up, we have to pay attention to it. Uh, so the mu variant was first discovered in Colombia January of this year, and it's the fifth variant of concern that the WHO is investigating. It's been confirmed in 39 countries, as, including here in the United States. Uh, now, it does have a constellation of mutations that could suggest that it could be resistant or evade immune responses that are either induced by a vaccine or by natural infection. But it's important to emphasize that this is laboratory data. It's actually hard to predict well, how a variant is going to behave in the community based on its mutations. So we have to gather more clinical data and monitor it. But the larger point here is that we have a significant portion of the worldwide population that's still unvaccinated. And if we don't control the spread of virus, we're going to keep having variants that pop up that we have to pay attention to that could set us back to square one. Now in Colombia, their vaccination rate was only around a little over a fourth of their entire population. So these are environments where we're ripe to have more variants. So we really have to get a move on for vaccinating the global community so that we can finally um, you know, put um, future variants, um, uh, you know, decrease that risk that we'll have more.